Hello and welcome to the Gothic Unicorn and to the third part of my series on the exterior of my witch's cottage. Now since the end of part two very little has changed I've simply trimmed off the cardboard that the cottage is sitting on and given that cardboard a quick coat of brown paint as a base. Now to finish this off because I am hoping this is going to be the final part I want to add some more paint to build up the colour and make it look a bit more worn and a bit more realistic maybe. We'll see how it goes. I would also like to add some kind of climber to the front maybe, perhaps over the little bit of a porch that I've created around the front door. I'm also going to um, do some work on the front step here, which at the moment is just a little piece of cards cardboard um, add some more to that to strengthen it add some flagstones to the top so it actually looks usable and I also need to do the chimney and so let's get on with it I have done a little work on the paintwork um, I'm using a very limited palette the grey and the brown that I originally used for painting this plus white to obviously give me shades um, as required. Um, it's going to take a lot of work because I'm having to mix each colour individually but I've also done some work with some air dried clay and a little tin foil to make my chimney. Now this is to look like a little toadstool so that it sort of looks like it's growing out of the roof of the house stroke tree stump. I'm, I know it needs painting and sticking on and making look like it's actually part of the tree stump but I'm quite pleased with how it's looking so far. We have stuck the chimney pot into place on the roof of the house. I still need to add papier-mâché around the bottom but it is in the right place now and um, I'm quite happy with how it's looking. I have also been working on the steps. Now the steps were just layers of cardboard and then what I've done is I've used cardboard egg carton pieces which once they're painted up will look kind of like stone-ish. It's what I've used for the um, kitchen floor as well. Anyway, back to the painting. As you can see, I've blended the chimney pot into the roof and I'm now going to add a little paint. So, I've added some more paint. I've put some paint on the chimney. I'm not sure that this is the final colour I'm going to go with, but so far it's looking quite good. I've added more um, lighter paint to the top, to the roof, because this was something that was bothering me. It didn't look quite right, the same colour as the rest of the stump. And of course it wouldn't be if it was a stump. I've also added quite a bit of grey because wood goes grey. Wood trees are more grey than brown so I'm quite liking this. I am now going to go away and think about how I'm going to do some kind of climbing plant to go up the front of the building. Not sure whether I'll be going through with that yet but we'll see. So I have been working on the climbing plant for the front of the cottage for quite some time now and this is made out of beads and wire. I'm nowhere near done, but as you can see, it's looking quite good. Now it's a very slow and time consuming process, but I'm gonna give you a bit of an idea of how I'm achieving this. In order to make the climbing plant, I'm using some beading wire, which is 28 gauge, and this is black because it's what I happen to have. And then I've got some seed beads, a pretty lilac colour, which is making my flowers, and green, which are the leaves. Then what else I'm using is some wire cutters and my favourite little jewel the um, pliers. I forgot what that word was then. Now, you start off by cutting a piece of wire Longer than you think you need because you always need more. Now I've attached the first one onto here which is literally slide a 
bead on so far and then twist the wire back on itself now that is what I'm going to try and do here hopefully I'll be able to do this if I can't this never happened so put the bead on as you can see got a green bead flying around get it to approximately where I want it to be and then I twist the bead around so that the wire twists and then what I get you can see that as I get something like that I do need to tidy up that little um, end piece but I can do that before I glue it onto the house and because I'm gluing it onto the house and it's not going to be played with it's not too serious if it there's little bits sticking out and there you see there we have another little sprig for my climbing plant and all I'm doing is then wiring these various pieces together and gluing them onto the house and this is the finished climbing plant around the door and um, across the front of the cottage now I think I am now finally finished with the exterior of my wishes cottage um, with adding the climber, the little front door knob, finishing off the steps and then I've added some moss around the bottom and also if I pan up around um, the viewing window for the um, attic bedroom. I have also given the um, mushroom chimney pot a little um, touch of gold paint because my witch likes a bit of bling and um, I think at this point I'm going to call it done. Next step is to um, finish the furnishings and obviously put them all back into the house. Once that's done I'm going to do a little tour video just to show everybody the project in its entirety. So I hope you will join me for that soon and if you'd like to please subscribe and I'll see you next time.